So before this, I've deployed Django applications on um, EC2, on uh, Heroku, on DigitalOcean. I mean, I imagine GCP engine to be the same as EC2. So pretty much everywhere, but I have never done it on uh, Python anywhere, which apparently is supposed to be very easy. So let's see how just how easy, easy it is. The website itself feels very bootstrappy. I don't know what that is, but it's very... Okay, never. I don't care. Okay, so how exactly am I supposed to do it? Okay, so web app. So I guess I'm going to be doing it here. Add a new web app. Sure. Uh, Django, I'll just choose the latest one, let's say. If you already have it, is it the... Okay, so apparently I need to do manual config instead. Let me see. Okay, so Python 9. Cool. So I'm guessing... Um, hmm. Okay. Cool. So what exactly... Or actually, where exactly am I supposed to reload? I guess I'm supposed to go um, here. Cool. But what exactly do I do after I go there? How do I access my files? Is my question. Hmm. So I guess I can do how do I SSH into it? Uh -huh. Can I make a database? <laughs> or I guess the, a much faster way would be just to see Python. Anyway, deploy Django. Uh, existing project. Blah, blah, blah. Let's just go through their docs, I guess. So create a virtual environment, blah, 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 blah. edit your whiskey, so delete everything except general section. Okay. So in whiskey, I should, so I'll, I guess I'll just use one of my previous projects for this. So I think this one might be a good, uh, maybe not. I think this one is like a fully, I guess I can just go with the default Django app where I have not done anything. Where is that? I'll go to test. Okay, let's do this. So I guess I'll just take that. So what I should do from here apparently is open with code. I'm guessing in whiskey then I need to change this. So okay, let's do this. Uh, so apparently I need to change this to my username. I believe that is my spec tag. So let's just go with the that. That's my tag. Cool. Uh, import OS. I have already done that. Import sys. And what else? Okay, settings module. Uh, let's just do that. Or I guess I can just copy the whole thing. Probably much better. And uh, I can comment all these out. Comment it. Okay, so I, can, I don't need to have this if I have an uh, older one. Wait, 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 hold up. Ah, I see, I see. So I uncomment them if I have less than Django 1.5. Okay. Cool, um, let's just import that from here. Or maybe it needs to be here. Hmm, okay. Because I guess uh, core whiskey is it, okay. Well, never mind. Um, get whiskey application, why is that not A? Okay, that is fine. Now for the migrations. Mm. Okay, so. How exactly do I upload site though? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I 
I am I was not exactly sure how I upload my stuff. Cover go to directory maybe. Aha, okay here it is. So here instead of this, okay, let's just delete all this. I uh, think this should work from here. How do I make a new folder? How exactly do I make a new folder though? Okay, let's just open the crash console. Um, but, uh, I think I have not really done much with that, but I guess it will depend. The demands will be the same as that. So make directory, hello. Cool, that's all I needed actually. Uh, I don't know why there is not a very simple thing where I can just create a new directory. Wait, where's the... Why are these things here again? Uh -huh, okay, cool. So here, oh, there it is, okay. I didn't see it before, so here apparently you can create new directory. Um, so here I can just upload. I don't understand why there is not. All right, can you not just do a git upload somehow? I don't understand, right? I understand why that's not an option. Okay, settings up by, why is that URL stuff by not coming up? Cool, ASCII.py, and then init.py. Uh, I don't think I need PyCache, and that should be it. Yeah, I think that should be it. So let's go back to web. Does it work? I, I would say it doesn't work because I think there's something wrong here still. Um, what is happening? Okay, let's reload that. Yeah, something went wrong. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know what went wrong here. So the configuration should be in. Uh, yeah, this is this is not it. So I should change the configuration for that to something else. So. Da -da 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 -da. Hmm. Can I just edit the version? What? Why cannot? I really don't understand. Wait, what? How do I edit this then? This is so confusing. Um, okay. No. So slash home slash mesmer tag slash hello. I think it's just a mesmer tag. Yeah. And then the files. So it's the banished file is here, but it's inside here. All right, so confused right now. Okay, so home. Let's protect. Hello, and then it's whiskey. Okay, let's go back to. Let's go back to this one. How is this so confusing? I don't understand it. Um. Okay. Look. Ah, I can edit it. Oh my god. So I should not edit the one I have, but the oh, fucking god. Okay, so I should edit this one instead. This okay, let's just delete that. And this one will be nice more tap slash hello and hello dot settings, blah blah blah, that should be alright. And now if I refresh it, I mean if I refresh it. Um, 
if I refresh the I reload this thing and I open this up like I open this up cool so Django is actually working it's just the thing I added doesn't work um I guess for this I don't really need to get out or anything I can just change the file directly so go to directory um go to hello in uh, settings i can just change the allowed host um uh, just add this one to allowed host and save it and let's see go back to the web reload this thing and let's see if it works cool 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 that was pretty easy yeah that was pretty easy to deploy but i it is not going to be a very good solution uh if you have any type of cicd like imagine you have you're trying to oh i guess it they do give you some uh, they do give you bash control so it might be possible so if you if you push to GitHub, you can just pull by GitHub also. I don't know. I have to check, I'd have to check it. Um, yeah. Uh, as of now, that seems very easy to deploy. But I guess the free version isn't really that uh, big. Um, where exactly is so how much does it cost? So pricing Python anywhere. I'm pretty sure they're gonna fleece you to death. Okay. So for five dollars a month, you get one Air app on a custom domain. Cool. How much exactly does that mean? Um, what? Okay, so it's a web worker, web worker. Why don't they tell you exactly how much you have? So you only have one gig of disk space. Yes. Okay. Only 2,000 seconds per day for scheduled task, okay. And on 12 a month, you only have four, and you only have five gigs of disk space. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. At this, like, at for five dollars a month, you can, can get for, from bridge to ocean. And... I see here's pricing up here. So for this lotion you can get for five dollars. Um regular you get a gig of memory, 25 storage, and one gig of memory and one VCPU. That's like gonna be much more than enough for like even three web apps that you don't have to pay for every new web app pretty much. And you only get two web apps here or one web app here. That's very yeah, that's pretty that's pretty uh expensive yes but so i guess better than heroku where you have to do this all this custom configuration files and everything yeah and much better if you don't really know how to deploy on the ec2 instance i guess i can show you on the next video how to do that but yeah until then i'll see you in the next one i guess